We have to recognize that we're one South Sudan. Just one South Sudan and all, all the tribes make it up. They all together make South Sudan. So everyone has to recognize that truth and live with that. And any hate speech that separates, any hate speech that has gender implications that are about harming women, or about harming uh, tribes or individuals, need to be fought against and stopped. I'd like the youth of the South Sudan to recognize that they are the present and they are the future and that they have to work together to try to find a peaceful South Sudan and that anything is accomplishable and even though we're going through difficult times and difficulties, I think they need to know that, that it will be uh, real, it will happen at some point. They have to keep their resolve and keep their belief and keep their hope and to continue to try amongst themselves to bring hope. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it leans towards justice, which is what the youth have to remember, that as long as we stay on a moral path, a clean path, a true path, an honest path, that ultimately it's going to weigh itself and it's going to lean itself towards justice and freedom and peace. I decided that we would come here uh, and start our training program here as well. We started our first training program in uh, Jongli State uh, used there and of course the conflict started out because we were here in 2012 we came in 2012 that conflict in 2013 prompted our youth to be able to try to help each other and help other tribes and other villages to safety across uh, tribal lines and uh, just to try to make you know the citizens of uh, southern Sudan safe <laughs>